Hello YouTube and fellow ham radio operators. This is uh, Carl, call sign KC8YLT. Here this afternoon I'm making another video. This one here is to demonstrate my uh, 20 meter conversion done to a CB radio. Um, this is the second of uh, three more videos that I said was going to come. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos on top of that once I uh, get everything uh, figured out here and all the bugs worked out. Here this afternoon, I'm giving a demonstration of the uh, 20 meter radio. Right now we're on 14.0045 uh, megahertz. This radio will actually go down to uh, approximately 13.9845. And uh, we're going to do some receiving here first. And uh, I'm going to do a real quick explanation of uh, how this works. The channel selector, like the other radios, moves in uh, 5 KC steps. The clarifier also moves in 5 KC, well it's bandwidth of 5 KC's also. As you can see here. And uh, this radio does transmit on AM, upper lower sideband. I uh, don't see much use for AM down on this uh, bandwidth though, or this band, this hand band. Um, it has the same conversion the other radios has. Um, the uh, crystal on the PLL chip's been changed. VCO coil rewound. The uh, little two transistor broadband amplifiers. Two of them running in parallel over in the transmit section. One of them in the receive section. That's to pick up our loss. Uh, capacitors added to the uh, transmit and receive uh, tuned circuits. And the uh, capacitance also added to our transmit and receive mixer RF transformer. Uh, no modifications are done to the uh, IF in this radio either. I want, I, I've made that clear before and I'll restate that again this time. Uh, let's, let's see what all we can pick up here. Go through the band here this afternoon. It's a little bit active. There's some CW here down on the lower frequencies. This here is our low band. It goes from approximately just below 1400 on up. Now I have not finished the uh, tank circuit in this radio either or the uh, transmit power amplifier. I'm working on it though. I'm still using the uh, antenna tuner as a, uh, to resonate the uh, antenna down here to uh, 20 meters. Foreigners in there this afternoon. Okay. There's the estimator. Okay. Get this line back up. Let's go up to our high band. That's on that on the tone high and low switch. That takes us up to uh, 1436. A little bit of interference from the local AM broadcast station, sports station, and it's only about a couple miles from here.
Seems to be a little bit of activity in there this afternoon. There's a pile up there. We're still on the high band. Now channel 15 on the high band as low as we can go. Due to the uh, the switching we do on the PLL chip, of course it's not changed, but uh, switching is added to extend the band a little bit higher and a little bit lower. See if we go down to channel 14, it takes us back up to 14.38. That's high. That's really as high as we go. All right, let's take a quick look inside. I've also got the uh, 75, 80 meter band radio hooked up. I was getting ready to listen to it this evening. I'm going to do a little work on it. Let's go over here where we got some light. Try to do this in the afternoon where we got better light, a little bit better conditions. Once again, see here the power cord, red wire. Uh, there's a black wire right there soldered to the board. It's our incoming power cord. That's hard wired in. This wire right here is a jumper where the uh, DC filter choke went. I'm going to put a relay in there for doing all my switching. Here's your orange and red wire. Orange and yellow wire, I'm sorry. So that's your upper and lower side band on your frequency counter when you do your switching. And so the counter can read semi-accurate. Uh, your gray wire and your red wire for uh, the power going to your frequency counter. Of course, it's the uh, full-time readout Galaxy Fox Charlie 347 counter. That's the one I like so much. I lost a little button there on that one switch there, on the dim switch. Uh, if we come over here to our receive, first stage RF receive, we have a capacitor there. Help us resonate down here at 20 meters, 14 megahertz. Same here on the uh, output stage of that RF transformer, another capacitor added. Let's come over to our transmit section. Trimmer capacitor, another disc, a couple more disc capacitors. Come down here to our receive transmit RF transformer. And there's a trimmer capacitor added there to help us resonate down to uh, 20 meters, 14 megs. Uh, that resistor back there is part of the biasing circuit I've added. I'm right now working on putting the final drive output on this radio. Okay, let's flip her over. Uh, only thing hooked to it. Power cord. Jumper coming off the uh, antenna tuner. Let's go ahead and put our case back on. So we don't short anything out here. Over at our transmit section. As you can see, our two broadband, uh, two transistor RF amplifiers in parallel, coming off of our uh, tuned RF stage here, coming off the transmit mixer. There's crystal we changed for the PLL, to operate down on 20 meters. VCO coil, which has been rewound, it wasn't as bad, big a problem as the uh, 75 80 meter radio was. Uh, Come over by our switching relay. Transmit and receive switching, the antenna circuit. Receive RF broadband amplifier also, two transistors. All these parts for these little broadband amps come from Radio Shack. It's just a pair of 3904 transistors, or I've used uh, MPS 2222As and I like those. Handful of resistors. Really, there's not much more than that to these conversions. Nothing's done to the IF. No, uh, PLL chip's still the original. That's on all three of these radios. I'm going to do a video for the 40 meter radio. Let's do a quick transmission here. Give you a demonstration of that. Okay. Find a quiet frequency.
Okay, turn the lead on receiver on. Uh, frequency is 14 3034. Let's just go right up there. We can make that dial light a little bit brighter. Three zero three four. Yeah, we're going to be in the ballpark. That'll. Okay. Put your antenna tuner over to dummy load. Rascal down. Three zero three zero four five. Okay. Have to readjust our clarifier. This is KC eight YLT. Kilo Charlie eight Yankee Lima Tango performing a radio test on. Uh, 14.3036 megahertz on a 20 meter hand band on a dummy load. All right, now our RF power is coming off a small two band or two transistor broadband amplifier. Come off the transmit mixer of this radio, uh, generating a weak signal, and that's being placed into a dummy load there on the back of the antenna tuner. As you can see, got the mic gain too high. Let's back us down a little bit here. Hold on here. Well, that almost turns it off. Let's uh, deal with the volume on the radio. This is a demonstration for the uh, uh, 20 meter conversion to a CB radio to cover 20 meters. Once again, this is Kilo Charlie 8, Yankee Lima Tango. Uh, this concludes this test. Let's turn this off. Turn this back on. Still on dummy load. Do a little more de-axing here. See if we can hear any more QSOs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, once again, turn this volume down. Sorry, it's taking me so long to get these other videos made. I work a lot, and when I do to get time, I try to do what I can. Nice strong signal. It's sort of encompassed the, ra the, the range of my van, but they had some tubing <clears> the <throat> So when I sent it. See who else we can hear in there. I don't like to uh, listen to QSO when they're giving call signs. That's a little, little disrespectful to other hams if you're recording anything. Thing about 20 meters, you never know when somebody's talking. Let's go back down to our low. Good old code. Okay, you there, YouTubers. It's about time for me to sign off. Once again, this is Carl, KC8YLT. Uh, log on YouTube as uh, Carl, capital letter, C A R L 55 7511. Saying once again, thanks a lot, fellow hams and uh, YouTubers. And goodbye.